Jake Camarda will send it for Georgia. The Deep South's oldest rivalry renewed once again here at Jordan-Hare. And it'll start from the 25. Knicks to go to the air. Lofts it. Complete over the middle. Hudson got a first down. Auburn just above 50% on third down on the season. Third and six, they'll hand it off again. Nice hole, and it's going to be close. Looks like it's right at the yard to gain. Bigsby is back on fourth and short. Go up the gut, and the big man's got it. I don't think he got it, boys. Here we go, fourth down again. Quarterback run possibility here. Georgia tends to shift a lot. There's that one pass option. Knicks got it. I didn't mention Knicks' streak, but he has broken the Auburn record. Consecutive passes without an interception. He's above 251 now in a row. He'll go back to the air here. Knicks feeling a little bit of pressure, fading away, and connects with Bigsby. Makes a man miss. Bigsby still on his feet and drives forward for a first down. Gave Bo Nix just enough time. Get it back to Bixby, the sophomore, strong, big 2020 SEC freshman of the year, and that's going to be a flag. Nolan Smith just uh, losing his discipline right there. No need to throw him to the ground. Whistle had blown. So intentional grounding's the proper call after review. So it'll set up third and goal from just outside the 15. They'll swing it to Shivers, and he gets back inside the 10, but it'll bring up fourth and goal and a decision here for all. 24-yard attempt for Anders Carlson. And Auburn is on the board first. That ball got tipped. Now for Georgia on third down and seven. James Cook is the running back in motion. Bennett's going to throw. Fires over the middle. It's complete but short of the first down. He found his man, Lad McConkey, but it'll be fourth and short and likely a Georgia pump. It's a nightmare going through that young man's head right now. Demetrius Robertson will return here. Nice booming kick spiraling in the air. Robertson fields it and calls for that fair catch just inside the 20-yard line. Very involved on that first drive. 17 plays to get the three points. Third and two. Knicks dropped again and intercepted. It was batted up and then taken away. N'Kobe Dean comes over and gets great field position for the dog. From the backfield, he's got to make this catch. The ball is on the money. It gets away from him. And the speed of N'Kobe Dean is on display again, Aaron. It, it was an accurate pass, but it was a fastball. I yeah. mean, that ball has had some heat on it from Bo Nix. Just like with the ball to the tight end, with backs and tight ends a little bit more accurate. Cook stays in there as the running back. Bennett, play action, perfectly placed. First down yardage for A.D. Mitchell. He's a threat one-on-one. -on -one. Pressure comes off the edge. Bennett rolling, firing, incomplete. Jack Pudlesny comes on for a 22-yard attempt, looking for the tie. And he splits the sticks. Rick Neuheisel, also Mr. Miyagi, up here on the booth. <laughs> Knicks rolling on third down, evades the first. Here's what he does so well, and this time he will throw it away. Trying to pull another rabbit out of a hat. Trayvon Walker got to him. So now a second and 10. Kendall Milton, they'll fake it to him. On the run, complete first down yardage. McConkey. Move the change, and Bennett is going to stay in the air. Going a deep ball. He's got separation. Perfect placement. Brock Bowers, the tight end, just making. Uh, it's a great play call. They go fast. They fake the screen to the outside. Have a skinny post by number one. Bowers comes on a wheel route. Fake it to White. Loft it on the sideline. Oh, what a grab. Did he haul it in? No, he dropped it. Darnell Washington, but a flag. <laughs> a number of injuries since arriving in Athens. They'll go back under center. And this time to the ground, Zamir White, no room. Uh, On Wisconsin, he's a ringer. first song I learned. Oh, second and 11 to start this second quarter. Bennett escapes, makes one juke. Bennett still on his feet and gets popped just short. Smoke Monday came in like a bullet and a flag is thrown. 
So no more Monday. Zion Puckett is in the game for Auburn. They go under center eye formation, handed off to the fullback who goes over the top, and it looks like got in. It's a touchdown for Georgia. He gets his fifth of the season. A little fullback dive. They actually put Samir White at fullback, hand in the dirt. And I love it. Quick snap. Get him in space against these linebackers. Get it right back to him. Puts the head down and will fall forward for right about a first. Haven't heard Shanker a whole lot. Had a couple opportunities on that first drive. He'll stay on the ground with Bixby and he dances around and then runs into a wall of Bulldog. He should be able to make some plays. Third down and eight. Knicks under pressure. Escapes. Knicks short of the first down. Decision on walk. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a fake. It is not. Chapman will send it deep. Harris called for the fair catch and makes it at the 22. Has to continue to make plays to slow down this running game. Pretty much eliminated through the first half. Bennett back to the air. A nice one. Look out for the big target, Darnell Washington, who is really difficult to bring down. Gain of 25. Play action and plenty of time. Bennett airs it out, plenty of separation as well, and it's complete. Lad McConkey down the field, sets up first and goal. Touchdown sets him, this is the knock on him. Can he throw the ball down the field as far as JT? No, but listen, he gave his guy an opportunity. A.D. Mitchell on the outside, Milton the running back, they will throw it, fires, hold in. A.D. Mitchell, touchdown, Georgia. Just a beautiful angle route. He starts in on a hard charging slant, puts his foot in the ground and returns. They really love number five, A.D. Mitchell. Promising future, beautiful route, sells it to the inside. SEC Offensive Player of the Week going back to the aerial attack. Couple of fakes, couple of flags, and he's dumped in the backfield. This is a perfect example of what plagues Bo Nix. It, it's a one-on-one -on -one with a double move on the top, a little stutter and go, and I want you to watch when Bo Nix gets off his receiver. Just does not give it time. Pumps, right now, DB stuck. He's facing you, hips are down, receiver's gonna blow right by, and he's off of it. He doesn't allow the play to mature. First quarter for the interception in the backfield with Nix, who will take the shotgun snap and look to throw again. Rolls out and throws it at the feet of Shivers, incomplete. And we're seeing right now, they did a lot of drop eight versus LSU in these situations last week. Third and eight, quick throw to the outside, and Jackson is stopped immediately there. Send Shanker in motion to the outside. Second and eight for Nix. And it's Hunter again. There is just nowhere to run against this Georgia defense. They cover up every potential spot. Nix fires. Back up. Incomplete. Shedrick Jackson was there. It was on the money from Bo. Because of draw passes, because of long routes run so far this season. Another nice punt by Chapman, and Jackson retreats to get it. And this drive will start inside the 15. And this crowd has really been taken out of it for the most part. Hit as he throws and delivers a dart. Brock Bowers, the tight end, just found himself some space, and Bennett finds his security blanket. Got to keep an eye on him in motion. They send Cook out wide now. Bennett on third and two, being chased. He is sacked. Big play, Echo Leona, and Auburn gets the stop. Not taking the bait on the outside and just hawking him down. We talked about the importance of this play. Auburn feels like in the biggest moment where this game could shift in either direction, they have come and provided that spark. Robertson will receive. Camarda sends it to him. Robertson lets it bounce, then retrieves it and is spun Ooh. down immediately. Third down and 10 for Knicks. Lost one. He's got his man. Shanker again. Make it a big time game. Two man one on one with Quay Walker. And you've got to trust your tight end in this situation. He's the go to guy. Knicks. In rhythm, Hudson again. 
Four wide receivers set for Nix on third and nine. Has to get away from the pressure. He does. Nix moving. Oh, he found a man wide open. Demetrius Robertson. What a play. He's going Manziel again. We're making two guys run into each other, and this is the moment versus LSU when the table started to turn. He made some incredible play with a touchdown, and then now once it... Shivers the running back. Schenker is in there, the tight end. Nix to Shivers, and he dropped another one. N'Kobe Dean was right in his grill. Nix will throw. Nix looking end zone, incomplete. Xavion Capers, the intended target. One of his long punt returns called back earlier in that first half will return. And we'll see if Auburn can make the comeback in the second half. Jackson will take it out to start the second. Jackson with a seam, and he is absolutely leveled as he crosses the 30-yard line by Wesley Stein. It's just right now, Setson Bennett play better in the first half. Stick with a hot hand. White makes a cut and keeps the leg going for a first down. Georgia's last full offensive possession from Leota. Let's see if Auburn can get another stop here. They cannot. Kendall Milton finds some space and a fresh set of downs. Knighton finally trips. Broderick Jones is coming on the left tackle. 59 and has done an excellent job. Zamir White, big gain, 11. Third and five for Bennett. Steps up, overthrows Kiaris Jackson in open space. Fourth down. But Lesney made from 23, this one from 43. Is on the way. Hits the upright, no good. As Auburn takes over from their own 26 yard line. Offense has been somewhat stagnant for the most part. Demetrius Robertson makes the grab but loses yardage. Only two defensive linemen initially for Georgia here. Third and six for Nix. Fires. He's got it. And that's the second time they've connected on that route. Let's get some runs like that going. Second and short. Play action pass over the middle. Kobe Hudson has another first down. These were the moments Nix was magical last week against LSU, but they hand it off to Bigsby, and he's got no room to run. He'll get to the 40-yard line. This would be about a 57-yarder, which is well past. Fourth and eight. Nix. Got it up and incomplete. He was looking for Robertson over the middle, and it'll be Georgia football the other way. After Georgia. And Especially Stetson Bennett was slinging it all over the field prior. He will go to the air to start this one. And dial up the deep ball. McConkey is open, and McConkey is gone. Touchdown, Georgia. The mailman delivers. The footwork on the route was just absolutely textbook. He set up a little corner weave and then got across him. Absolutely a beautiful route. Luke deal in motion. Once again. Fake it to Bigsby, loft it down the sideline, catch is made, it was reeled in. Can you remember another touch pass, Aaron, earlier in the game? Where he didn't throw a high velocity? I haven't seen many. So into Bulldog territory with Bigsby in the backfield. Nix feeling it once again. This time, what a catch! Demetrius Robinson, electric from Robertson on the side against his former team. To his intended receiver, I still don't know how it got through. Right over the defender, beautifully thrown ball. That's two great down the field throws for Bo Nix. Adding a slightly bit of touch on that one, not as much as the previous throw. Third and one, Bigsby. Plows forward, Bigsby to the outside, Bigsby! A ridiculous effort for the Auburn touchdown. That's playing big by Bigsby. Tank Bigsby. Big plays by their quarterback. Bo Nix gets inside the five-yard line. Tank finishes it off. You add a safety in there, you're going to throw the football. Right now, George's able to do both. White. Weaves his way through that Auburn defense has spun down in first down territory. 
Let's see what Derek Mason dials up for this Auburn defense. Bennett will throw it. Bennett has his target, McConkey again, who's having himself an outstanding game for another first down. Bennett keeps lots of open space. Bennett into the secondary. Look out, and he's tripped up from behind. I mean, everyone's thinking, run, 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 and just very patient with the read with Zeus. 15 of 20 so far today, including two touchdowns. Cook the running back, but Bennett will throw. Looking for Cook, forced out of bounds, and he hold on. No, it's incomplete. And I think Kirby's walking up the field, wanting to get another look at this. And either way, it's going to be a field goal, and it's going to be three more points for Georgia, as unless he adds a couple more to his career. From the tight end motion. Nix has to escape and can't do so. Immediate Quay pressure. Walker. Quay Walker was a free runner right there. He's got a hot receiver. Yeah. In this case, I don't see one. Well, there's no one there. And this is one of their disguised pressure, simulated pressures, where they're dropping an end on the backside. You see the left guard and left tackle. And then Quay right away is able to get in the backfield to make the play. Chapman sends it deep and Jackson won't even return this one. Instead, it goes to the far side and McConkey decides to try to take it back and is tripped up immediately. Three tight ends. And we'll just hand it right back to Milton. Turns forward and likely gains the first down there. Let's go right back. They've done a great job of continuously adjusting with the times. Mental health has become such a big part of sports over the last couple of years and they're they're following that trend and letting these kids leading them I should say to success on the football he's young at receiver he's got great tight ends he got great backs and you have the best defense in college football chewing up more yardage and, and I'm really interested to see I think they can handle it but we got a long way to go before then this time it's cook cook in the open field break spectacular Finally dragged down from behind. Right now you're seeing this offensive line dominate up front, and this is the recipe. Wear teams down the first and second quarter. Get them exhausted, get some play action pass, get them questioning on the back end. Do I want to fill? Do I want to come up and make attack? Third and two, big play for Georgia. And Auburn's defense in particular got penetration, couldn't wrap them up, and what a play! Zamir White out of sight for a Bulldog touchdown. Well, they brought the heat. And Zacoby McLean had him dead to right in the backfield. One with Zeus in the backfield. And Zeus brings out his inner Zeus and just runs right through it, keeps it going. It's just Nick, Coach Saban evolves with the times. Nicks will go back to the air. Nicks will be spinning in every which direction, throws on the run. Found his man on the sideline. Jackson was there, and it's a completed catch. This is what Bo can do. Great job extending the play. And yeah, Jackson's in. Most likely two feet there, and it's go, go, go time. Next play goes over the top for a huge touchdown. I think the receiving position has to continue to evolve. Nix extends. And then nearly brought down he is. The initial contact was Jalen Carter, who does a little dance on the ground and then eventually dragged down by Robert B. Georgia defense and became more famous last week for his block as a fullback. But you see these guys continue to work the speed of those big guys up front. A little bit too much for Bo Nix. His instincts are to go backward and create opportunities for himself. Oh! It's been a busy day for Oscar Chapman and sends another one to the 35. The Fair catch made. Jackson, five yards here, six yards there, maybe a seven yard play here. It, it's just been chunk after chunk to wear down this Auburn defense. Here's another example as James Cook hurdles for a first down. They just trust that either one of them is going to get them the ball, which is obviously a luxury to have. But with the way things are going, Stetson Bennett could be earning himself a full time role. What's your dog's name, Aaron? <laughs> Oh, you know my Georgia, of course. <laughs> Edwards again. You kind of dare Georgia to go ahead and do something over the top. First down would end the game. Instead, they look end zone and it's incomplete. Justin Robinson was the intended target. 98 yard drive to complete the comeback against Georgia State on September 25th, two weeks ago.
And Finley will air it out. Has a man wide open over the middle. His thoughts on finally beating Nick Saban. I don't know if this is the year, but it should be a good game. Final play, potentially, no, it'll be incomplete, and we will have one more with two seconds left on Nick. fourth and four. He's ready to whip you in golf. Shanker. Final play of this one. Finley delivers another strike. Shedrick Jackson makes the catch, and that will do it. Georgia stays perfect on the season. A dominant defensive effort once again by the number two team in the country as the Bulldogs take it 34 to 10. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.